Sonic is a rodent. Yeah, that's true. But they'll just pass out. <laughs> what do I do? What's your damage? Do we all agree or no? What the? Wait, wait, wait. agree on what? what I honestly, I did not hear what Amatsu said. Sonic is a okay, tough well, can, rat. Can you just agree to it for the sake of it? I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Oh, you agree. You're right. He agrees. Uh, By the way, you just agreed that Sonic is a rodent. <laughs> No, I didn't! Yes, you, you did. Did. Is ah, this your is streamer? Stuff. Is this oh your streamer? God. Hey, 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 Okay, are you guys ready? Can I get deafened? I don't want to hear Fidel's voice anymore. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Have fun. Have fun. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> are you... Are you okay? Fidel? He's fine. Okay. Let us continue. Goodbye. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Quiet. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Huh? It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> Wait, Lord Rodney was the guy who trained him, you, right? Lady Hannah. I like Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Aww. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived. And... and now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. Uh oh, why is she shaking? Or I say? Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. <sighs> I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. <laughs> he is so killing. <laughs> they know! They know I'm gonna have impure thoughts! Why did I do that? It's just glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmeki. <laughs> I wanted to join them. I wanted to start to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. Hey! It really meant being that. Stop. It's better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <laughs> God damn it! Let them f kiss! 
Scheiße! Fuck! They always do this shit to me! Damn it, bro! Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, he's oh, hot as fuck! Our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Arf, 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 arf. Sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. I like this fit better. I like this fit so much better. You can see his pecs. Almost like they're begging to get outside of that shirt. I just want to... Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Aww. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. <laughs> I really like this. Oh, I want to stay here. I want to stay with Lady Hannah. Y you. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. By the I've flames. I wish people still Must said that shit. By the flames. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. You'll be able to take your bearers back as well. The bearer mark. Is that put manually? Came to East Pool. Like, do they... It. Do they put oh, that on people? They're not born with it, right? Much it's a brand. Okay. So they do. The Empire, not least for the a brand is when you like burn it onto their face, right? Families. Yeah, they put it. Okay. Okay, just making sure. When we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives. And that he's as fine a man as his father. Oh, this is was. kind of... This is kind of cute. Thank you, my lord. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Still no sign. Yeah, that's so Let's cool. Isn't that cool? It might be him. We should hurry. Company. We can't leave them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Not gonna lie, that slaps. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long that you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come. Oh, this and seems gonna make me cry. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens. No, my friend. This is gonna make me cry. <laughs> Returning to the castle, not yet. It's a little too personal for I'm me. On a <laughs> expedition, one which may take some time. You <laughs> wait for me <laughs> at least, Paul, until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, your grace. 
For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. <laughs> this is it's too close to home. Ah. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. So my grandma for had dementia, Hannah, for those of you who don't know. And I was her primary caretaker, right? And she used to think my mom was her mama. And she used to think my brother was her husband. And it was really, really difficult because she's like saying things to my mom, like, um, like, mom, like you came back for me, you know? And so it was really, really, really hard to watch that scene. <gasps> the Shire. What's Hello, this? Frodo. Another relic of the fallen. Does he have a new suit? Not for long. If you give, catch my drift. <laughs> there it is. Phoenix Gate, where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Jill is wife. Jill is such a good character. I very much love Jill. Too much I do. Too much I do. Jill is an Aru-ass character. Aru-core. Jill is Aru-core. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Let's have a look around. Oh, man. What is it, Togo? Clive. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Oh, ho, ho. Oi, you hooded f <laughs> Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it. He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine. Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the is dominant can I have shipping brain Hence rot. The castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? I and the other shields would have stood <laughs> guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the phoenix. <laughs> Looks like they're unsolving the mystery. Wait, he's allowed to open it? Well, he has the blessing of the phoenix. Only people with the blessing of the phoenix can open that door. Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? Oh my god! It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Jill? I love this. Soundtrack of Burr. More trouble. They've got lightsabers? Oh, 
dude, this place is nutty. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions. Wait, so us, I expect. well, I guess I won't ask you yet because it the might be a spoiler. This path. We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. You guys are never gonna guess this, but my favorite characters so far are Jill, Clive, and Sid. I know, I know, it's it's very unexpected. I don't like this. <gasps> oh, that looks like it's gonna be hell. <laughs> The feeling's mutual. Not for long, it isn't. With me. Slamming that square button. That Stranger Things music be bussin'. That's some kind of mural. Look, whatever it is. That looks sick. Oh, Dude, that thing looks fucking awesome. All right, I feel like something crazy is about to happen right now. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. I don't like that. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Oh no. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Corny, my ears are open. I'm intrigued. What? I'm you. I, I'm, I'm me, back. he says. <laughs> Joshua! Stop it! He's saying the same things he was in that scene!
Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Awesome. And there's another phase. Still, you deny it, even when the truth's staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Your fears. Oh, my God, Evil Clive is kicking my ass.
My ovaries are gonna bust, bitch. I'm gonna bust! What? He looks sick! You stupid bitch, focus. Focus in the middle of a boss fight. from you. This might be like top 
top three best Final Fantasy games of all time. Top five best games of all time. That's crazy. Oh my god, Devil May Cry fans must be losing their fucking mind. Clive, are you alright? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Stop, Clive. Stop making those noises. You <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> no more chasing shadows. The man isn't here. We should go. What a final fantasy. Damn. I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire who killed my brother. Who would win Dante or Clive? Clive, a hundred percent. Was me. Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night. And destroyed so many more. Including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. Well, shipping brain rot. Shipping brain rot. Stop. 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 You're wrong. <laughs> I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Another scene where they could have kissed and it didn't happen. Absolutely absurd. If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Joshua, now, what the f are you doing? What the f is Joshua doing right now? say it right Tell now me who did this or I'll see you suffer the same fate the man who delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit hate him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me I'll crush him flay him Rip out his heart! Him Bro, thank he's Hulk! <laughs> and send every last one of them to Help. No. Yes! Yes, my lord! She slept with Sid, Odin, and Titan. She was three-timing! She was! Benedicto. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> what happened here? Imperials! You pay for this! Oh, we've got a live one! Kill all the Ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They're innocent people! All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! My mother looked at this. Why? Why? I know. Take it away. 
Okay. They killed Hannah! I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. That whore of a mother! You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Oh, we're too late, Gav. Life! Man, that fucking sucks, dude. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here. But someone must have let slip. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. <sighs> the way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death, which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do, but it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Where Sid you to change your heart, who is always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. Now, rats. Lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. That hairline, dog. <laughs> that fucking hairline is atrocious. Wow, we can't go to any of these places. There is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. He's got cheap grabbing hands. Until my dying day. And I got two of them. Spoken true. <laughs> and in turn, salvation can only begin with acceptance. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms for 13 years? This is Clive. I'm so Obsessed sorry. This is Clive basically going, racism is bad. Lives that... I see now was scarcely worth it. <laughs> and I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? <gasps> that was the answer we found. <sighs> the only one we need. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? Oh my god! To sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Uh-oh. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we'll be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your Radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. He looks like, um, Obi-Wan. This is the will of Great Grieger. I, I must won't say. Heard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. I got so some massive mother crystals too. Come check them out, Clive. Drawn by something that size. <laughs> As to where it's all going, mind. Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. <laughs> Maybe the truth was inconvenient. I ah. the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals. And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one. Do you remember? What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I.
Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Chat, come on, get it together. The pleasure houses. Safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> what? <laughs> so then, how do we proceed? What? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That's that crazy. Can I get it over here? But not the <laughs> most. Which is a start. Sid, if the mother crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. To our rulers, <laughs> we must seem the most convenient of tools, and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic. Our fate means nothing to them. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs, it means my deeds will be remembered. I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Oh, look how cute Jill is! Ah, she's gone! I'll see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate that. I am feeling a little bit of what I felt when I played Final Fantasy VII Remake. Obviously, Final Fantasy VII Remake was a little more magical because that's when I like first went full time, but I'm getting, I feel like very, very similar. I'm feeling like the magic of gaming again, you know? Thank you for calling me Milk. Come on. You see what you guys <laughs> milk. did? I see. Milk. Whatever, ma'am.